So hello there, you lovely people of the internet, and today we're gonna talk about frame rate, the whole 60 versus 30 FPS. I wouldn't really call it a debate, because it's a bunch of people with facts versus a bunch of people bullshitting, pretty much. And the first clip you are watching right now runs at 30 frames per second. And this is pretty standard, usually with people that either have low-end PCs or they're playing on a console. And there is a reason why they lock games at 30 frames per second, because, well, stable 30 is better than fluctuating 40. Because if you don't have a G-Sync display device, a monitor or a television, fluctuating frame rate will cause screen tearing, which is just generally unpleasant to watch, can cause headaches and some significant eye strain. And the excuse, and I'm gonna call it an excuse, the excuse of it gives you more cinematic feel with 30 FPS is utter bullshit. Right, it's the developers trying to squeeze as much as far as graphical fidelity goes, and because of that, they have to sacrifice frame rate. All right, because when you compare the rendering requirements for 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second, you need double the rendering power for 60 frames per second. Because, well, obviously, your machine has to render 60 different frames every second, instead of rendering 30 different frames, but playing each frame twice. That's what happens when you're watching something at 30 frames per second. You still have 60 frames, but you have 30 unique frames, and each one of those frames is rendered twice. And let's completely dismiss the bullshit that the human eye can only see 24 frames per second. The reason why this rumor even started is because movies are shot at 24 frames per second and the reason behind movies being shot at 24 frames per second actually dates way back when they started adding audio to movies because before there was no audio so it didn't really matter if you played the movie slightly faster or slower on a projector because well there was no audio so the movie was slightly sped up might have been funnier and it looked smoother but when they added audio they had to unify the speed at which movies are played and at that time 24 frames was achievable and still gave you the illusion of somewhat smooth projection but once again they had to render each frame multiple times to give you the illusion of the projection being smooth but as you can probably tell by the video that's currently playing 24 frames oh it does not look good does it when we compare it to 60 which is this and we go back to 24 ah so choppy isn't it the human eye can actually see beyond 120 frames per second and how do i know that well in america the Air Force did some testing with pilots and what they did is they sat them down in front of some sort of a display device and they were told to identify an aircraft. Now, they would flash an image on the screen but that image would only stay on the screen for one 120th of a second. Meaning that it was essentially projected at them at 120 frames per second. And the pilots not only noticed the flash they were able to distinguish the aircraft they were shown so out of 120 images they were shown every second one of those images was an aircraft and they were able to recognize that aircraft unfortunately that was the final test so 120 was the maximum we still don't know how many frames we can process in our brain and how many frames per second our eyes can see so just to conclude 60 FPS versus 30 FPS. 60 FPS is better. It's more realistic. It's more fluid. And 24 FPS being more cinematic? Get out. You don't see the world like this, do you? And if you do, well, you should see a doctor.